We'll uh, kick over the rudder on the Mitchell so they stick around in the area. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Good morning to you, too. I brought you some breakfast today. <laughs> Hey folks, Pat here. Welcome back. Uh, we're on the Sea United States Navy, episode number 23. Uh, we got some carrier strikes to spool up today, so let's get to it. Um, here we are, day 18. A uh, little low on command points. Nice and early in the morning here on the 24th of August, which is really unfortunate for the Japanese. Because uh, this cat right here, if I'm not mistaken, spotted um, Ruiho and uh, Issei. With no transports, looking to come down here and cause some trouble, uh, but we have Sister Sarah and the Big E in ideal location to get a couple strikes off today. Let's uh, play it cool with the speed here, and we're just going to loiter um, right here where the Solomon Sea meets the Coral Sea, and we're going to ping them with strikes just about all day long. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Sarah's getting a little low on dive bombers. Um, Enterprise has got her full flight of birds. Let's kick out Sarah's Avengers and Enterprise's Dauntlesses. See if we can do a coordinated strike. And so the way I want to do this is let's do fighters first here with none. So we should be able to launch again immediately with um, the Avengers with Torpedus. And then, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah, burr. Burr to burr. There we go. Enterprise, launch up your Dauntlesses. This is going to be a crap load of planes coming their way. What do we, do we want? We want AP or SAP? Um, let's make sure we bag the carrier. Uh, we're going to have time for another strike. That battleship's going to cheese it as soon as... The other guys show up. Who's slowest here? I think Avengers are the slowest, so we'll have everybody escort the Avengers. Let's uh, play this one cool here. Wildcats, 276 knots. Uh, Dauntless is 200. Avengers, 218. Dauntlesses are the slowest, so everybody escort the Dauntlesses. Um, up here. There we go. Then the Dauntlesses, but torpedo bombers go escort the Dauntlesses. Yep, and then fodders. You guys are scouting, 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 murdering, <laughs> escorting. Here we go. <laughs> escort the Dauntlesses. All right, here we go. Uh, looks like we got a submarine snooper up here. Uh, one destroyer, that's probably another little dude getting shot out of a ball. Let's go see if we can put some bombs on this guy while we're at it. Um, let's, uh, kick out the Mitchells here with depth charges, see if we can go grab that guy. Um, that's right, we can hit him with Mitchells too. <laughs> we need to. Actually, we got a whole other flight of Dauntlesses here, don't we? Uh, I can't do that. Oh, damn it. Alright, well. <laughs> Maybe the, the, the Marines on Henderson will get a shot in on this carrier or on the battleship here in a little bit. But here we go. Looks like we got pretty good coverage as far as search planes raiding out and all the things. Um, P-38 Lightning. It looks like you guys are getting chased around here. Probably by Oscars. Let's see if there's anything on the deck. Um, anything worth murdering this morning. Noticing in the last couple of videos, we've been having a few more contacts that are a little bit closer to Buna. Um, but I'm not seeing anything here. Nothing but trouble. So let's patrol around here. This is Buna. Um, meanwhile, Task Force 44, these guys heading back down there. Uh, we're going to go grab a whole bunch of supplies from Oz, run that back up to the canal here. But anyway, this is this is the primary thing here. You stick around in the area, brother. Don't get don't get murdered. We know these dudes are in there right there. Alright, here we go. Stick around. Do we have more cats that we can kick out of here? We do. Let's do that. 
Well, let's just solo these guys. Watch our back in case anything else decides to come down the slot. Or seems like they like to come down a little bit this side of the slot. Wildcat, that's this guy up here, right? Yeah. Two of you boys getting chased around by something. Probably more land-based planes. Sea state is nice and calm. We got a little bit of cloud cover today. Not too bad. Traffic and weather together on the sevens. <laughs> uh, I don't see anything on the deck though. Can't even see the islands. Should be able to see them. Should be up in there. Visibility is a little low. Sixty-five percent. Yeah, it's all right. That's okay. That'll do. Uh, meanwhile, what else do we have going on? Steelhead? Steelhead, you need Torpedus. Let's get you um, rearmed and back into the fight. Perfect. Let's hug the coast, sneak on back up into the Solomon Sea, go cause some trouble. <laughs> She's had a pretty success. She just ended up a pretty successful patrol. Normally, we give the boys a couple weeks off. Rearm, refit, refuel. Put some spit and polish on the boat, but I don't think we're going to have time for that right now. Combat time means... Here we go. This is this is looking good. Um, Wildcat must be resolved. Which one is this? Go to? It's these guys up here. Alright, let's just suck everybody in. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness, look at all this. Look at all these. Look at all these! Me doing a little bit of micro today, boys. We have got to find them. There they are. Alright, let's get in here. What do we got? Issei's in the lead. It's IDU. This is Issei, right? Yeah, this is Issei. I say Issei. We say you die. <laughs> but probably not this time. Everybody's going after the carrier. Uh, we're close enough where if the cap decides to mess with us, we should be able to boom and zoom. Um, Congo, Fuso, Issei. Issei. You. You are Ruyo. You are the main event. Um, stop. No! Oh. There we go. Yep. And back here, what was this, Aoba or Furutaka? Two up, nothing, one down, crane facing that way, yeah. Furutaka. And, oh, we do have a light cruiser back here. Don't care about you, Kuma. <laughs> um, or Nagara. Everybody else is a destroyer. Yep, everybody else is destroyed. Alright, this is the main event. What is our position? Avengers gonna peel back around. Uh, we got 16 of them. Let's see if we can put a couple torps in the east, say slow her down a little bit. Everybody else is going after the, the carrier here. So where are my Avengers? Avengers start here. Let's nav this way. Gotta zoom in here a little bit. Uh, yeah, you guys are gonna have to spiral around and down. Let's do it like this. And get down on the deck. Um, let's keep everybody in Vic. Down on the deck, boys. 500 feet. I think they do it from about 800, if I'm not mistaken. Two, three, form up, down on the deck. Half this way. One, two, three. Form up, down on the deck. Half around this way. Um, yeah, a little, little bit of busy work here, but it's going to pay off. Have around this way, and then the remaining section of four form up. Have around this way, 
They'll be a little bit late to the party. Let's get them a little bit closer. There we go. And down on the deck. Alright. Dauntlesses can come in at pretty much any angle, so we're just going to go ahead and peel them all off and bag the carrier. Um, they'll get there <laughs> probably about the same time. <laughs> so, anyway, form up. Oh, 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 oh. Stupid Windows key. <laughs> Messing up my flow here, man. Uh, I don't know. Do it as a leader. Form up. A leader. Target this guy. Attack. Actually, all these guys are already in Vic, so we're just going to grab the leaders here. Attack Ruyo. Rujo. Um, don't I can't remember if it's a soft J or a hard J. That's what she said. <laughs> oh man, I'm in a good mood today. We got a little bit of destruction early in the uh, early in the morning here. These guys just all go after this dude. Uh, we got a we got a cat in the area. You can loiter around, take pictures for the uh, time life. <laughs> And then all my fighters. Um, I don't want fighters attacking nothing. No, no, no. I want you guys. Well, as soon as something gnarly shows up, you guys just split all up a little bit here. And because as soon as any kind of aircraft shows up, they're all going to try and jump them at once. So we might have to do a little bit of like. Um, yeah, let's turn half of these guys off on auto attack and just make sure that they're actually covering things. So let's take all of these guys here and make sure that they are not on, what is it, auto attack. This. The other two sections will be. All right. Whew. Okay. <laughs> A lot of radio work there, but in we go. Let's see which way they turn. Uh, they might just maintain course for a little bit, too. Avengers are starting to peel off already. We got one guy here who's out of line. That would be these gentlemen here. What are you guys doing? You guys are taking a little bit a little bit far up there. Let's uh, tighten that up here a little bit. Should work. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is this, VB3? Should the, no, this should be VT3. And then VB6. Coming in for the kill today. Dauntlesses are coming in. Yeah, see, these guys are all going to go jump the hell out of this poor little dude right here. This little Jake's like, oh my god. <laughs> so we're all zeros. I don't know, man. Not my problem. <laughs> 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 Catching some flack already. Uh, these wildcats down here are getting a little bit far. Let's uh, get them to tighten back up here. Get back down in here, man. Dot whistles are coming in. Carrier is not moving. So we're going to be attacking from the uh, starboard bow. Looks like we just downed that poor little Jake. We didn't have much of a chance. Uh, let's get the Avengers targeted here. They're looking pretty good. Let's send the first. Send the first two after Ruiho and everybody else after Issei. So here we go. You. Hey, <laughs> I ran out of colors. <laughs> you. You are. I don't know. We want the closest ones. So you. No, don't don't attack him. Stop, stop that. It's easy an attack. Yeah, don't do that. No, no, no. You. Go attack Issei. Or I mean, sorry, Ruyo. Where's the next batch? You. Who else is close? That guy's not close. Which one's closest? Looks like these guys are the next closest. So that's you guys. You guys go attack Ruyo. Everybody else, Issei. Go in there. Attack. There's that poor Jake. So, I guess he doesn't get to watch the destruction today. Probably off the battleship too. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that should be all of them. Everybody got targets? You got targets? Don't be attacking the Avenger. What the hell are you doing, man? 
I don't know. So you said attack. You guys. Form up. You. I want you guys to attack Ruiho. There we go. Attacking Ruiho. He say. He say. He say. We want to get really fancy about this. We'd anvil them, but all the Avengers are a little bit far up there, and so this attack's going to be pretty, pretty damn close to simultaneous. <laughs> so, so, and I, I'll take credit for that. Thank you. <laughs> Not breaking formation yet. These guys are coming in. Coming in. Other groups should be right up about there. Actually, these guys are going after Issei. All right, so they'll come in. Attack that guy instead. I guess he was a little closer than I thought. These two are going after uh, Rui Ho. All the Dauntlesses are going after Rui Ho. These boys should start lighting us up here pretty soon. I think I've got all my orders out. It's time to let's let the boys do their thing. Here they come. There they all. There's all dive bombers up there. Just start shooting. Here comes the first batch of Avengers over there. This destroyer is starting to light up. All the destroyers are starting to light up. Those boys. Unfortunately, going to catch a little bit of flack. Actually, Issei is more interested in the dive bombers. That's fine by me. So, she splashed one. This guy's going to come in right over this destroyer and drop here. Hopefully, they don't drop in front of the destroyer. There they go. I don't see. There are the fish. There are the fish right there. But we got other things we got to watch. Ooh, yeah! Boom! <laughs> Watch this. Over here. Oh, man. Carry her down. Carry her down, baby. Yeah. Here come torpedoes. This is probably a little bit of overkill here. There's a torpedo hit on Issei. At least one. A thunk. Another hit. Here come torpedoes on a carrier. There's another thunk over there. This should be it for the dive bombers, though. Sorry. Let's watch the torpedoes. I'm not going to sit here and make you all seasick. Looks like the carrier's down. The carrier's down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no such thing as too many torpedoes, I guess. <laughs> when you're talking about American torpedoes. Let's see what happens with Issei here. This is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. Hmm. We are losing some birds, though. I wonder if some caps showed up. We're going to watch the fun here. Two hits. Come on, give me another hit. Give me another. Three hits, yeah. We'll take it. And a thunk. Three hits and a thunk. And one care. Oh, man, she's going down hard. Look at that. Ooh, there's your, there's your money shot for the day. There's your money shot for the day. Rujo, Dunzo. Um, how many birds do we lose? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not too bad. Like everybody's peeling off. Um, Wildcats and the cat just hanging out. Good job, boys. Good job. Done. Carrier down. Ooh, she went down hard. Very hard. All right, let's go check the Issei. Issei's not looking too hot over here either, is she? Uh, let's take a look, see. Hmm. A lot of water in that battleship. Check her report. Uh -huh. It's all right. If she makes it, we'll be back. Let's just check this. Sunk. Heavy damage, heavy flooding. 8,000 tons of Japanese carrier down, though. We'll take that. Uh, you stay out of AA range, please. Who are you? You and your friends here. Chill out with that. Warm up, get out of here. Oh, he's stuck. I'm gonna kick his rudder over. Go that way. You stay out of range. Let me kick his rudder over. Have that way. 
Try this again. There we go. Sometimes when you got a little bit too much going on, people do get a little bit stuck. But we've got a battleship over here to go watch. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, boys, I missed it. <laughs> Looks like we got a little bit of destroyer derby going on today. That's okay. Ooh, wonder if someone took a torpedo hit or if that's just a collision damage. Are you gonna do that too over here? Look at this. This is just wonderful. And bonk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, look at this. We're going to get some more. Oh, no. Looks like they're going to be okay. Looks like they're going to be okay. But you, you better turn in there. Yeah. Okay. She's going to turn out board. So. <laughs> Are you going to sink? Are you going to sink? Are you going to add a little bit of embarrassment to today's destruction today? Probably not. Let's check our report. Hmm. Um, report. Moderate and minor. Yeah, so this must be destroyer number five right here. Um, meanwhile, let's go check on Issei. Looks like she's got her fires out. Um, she will probably right herself. <clears throat> Heavy and moderate. So they're already working on the flooding. All right, so battleship is a hard target. Um, a few more torpedoes, but of course we're using American torpedoes here, so what else? <laughs> but we can come back with some thousand pound bombs. Uh, there is no, there are no uh, fighters. There's no cap anymore, and so we can send those guys out basically willy nilly. So, um, here we go. One Japanese carrier down, one Japanese battleship that's definitely crippled and going to have to head back to Rabal, and it's going to be a long day for her. So, let's go ahead and jump out of here. Call this one good. Um, and take our seven whopping planes of losses in stride. Let's see if we can spool up another strike right away. We're just going to go ahead and kite these guys here for a little bit. Um... So we can send out Enterprises, Avengers, and Saratoga's Dauntlesses this time. So let's do that. Let's um, launch aircraft. Let's do all the Dauntlesses. Oh no, the Avengers on Enterprise with Torpedus. With Torpedus! And then Sarah. Um, you can send out your... Uh, Dauntlesses with SAP bomb with AP bombs. Thousand pounders, yeah. All right, and these guys are slower, so we'll run up here. They're about here. And let me get my other group of Avengers here. You guys escort the Dauntlesses right there. Perfect. Everybody else, come on home. RTB, gentlemen. Nicely done. RTB. RTB. RTB, you, eyes in the sky. Go ahead and keep eyes on these dudes here. All right. Uh, meanwhile, got about this. Go down there and sink that jerk. Let's go see if we can find him real quick. There's that battleship. Let's see if we can grab this dude. It's been a while. <sighs> Ooh. Hmm. No, 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 no. Don't turn. It was this way. Let's see if we can spy ourselves a submarine. Visibility is kind of crappy. He was really close to here, though. Let's do the binox. See if we can find him. One X. Hmm. No. I see nothing. Oh, oh, never mind. There he is. He's right there. So 
He's about 120, so we're actually heading pretty dang close to where he is. I think. So you see him right there? Oh, lost him. Oh, there he is, right there. So, yeah, we're heading right, right about for him. 120. There he is. All right, bomb his ass, <laughs> gentlemen. Go attack the thing. What do you got? Mm. This little eye boat. This is what type A or type B? So type C is the only one that looks a little bit different. Um. But yeah, we don't want him snooping around. I mean, we don't have anything up here, so I'm not worried about it. But we might in the future. Well, not up this side. Not on this side of the slot. Not that I can foresee. <clears throat> At least in the immediate future. You never know. Alright. Oh, you guys are slow. But you got lots of depth charges. I think they carry, what, six apiece? So we got six, six, 36 depth charges coming your way. It's either six or four. So, a lot. <laughs> Enough to bag ourselves a submarine. Uh, maybe. She's got to go down here in just about a second or two. Um, no way you would not see these Mitchells coming your way. Unless somebody's asleep on the uh, lookouts here, which uh, apparently that seems to be the case because we're not going down. There they go. Let's just, uh, we're going to stay clicked on her. We'll uh, kick over the rudder on the Mitchell so they stick around in the area. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Good morning to you, too. I brought you some breakfast today. <laughs> uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Well, maybe. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the report. Um, here. Heavy and moderate? Yeah, it should probably be okay. Let's just go ahead and uh, speed up here a little bit. See if that gets worse or better. Looks like it's getting better. So, just pitching down, pitching back up a little bit. Oh, maybe. We have no target on her anymore. So, because as soon as we lose the target, we lose the depth. Otherwise, we'd be able to tell. Um, how bad it's getting. Heavy and moderate? I think she's probably going to be okay. Now, if this was one of my submarines, she'd be dead already. That's just the way the game works. And it seems as if enemy submarines, whether they be American or Japanese, as long as they're enemies, are a little bit more robust than your submarines. And that seems to be the case here. It does have movement on the screws. Heavy moderate, it's not getting any worse. Give it about 30 seconds. Let's just see. Oh, man. That's a lot of destruction for the first half an hour of an episode. That's okay. We got a battleship to bag here. So, too. We'll get to it in just a minute. Um, looks like this submarine's going to make it, though. So, definitely heading back towards her ball. So, no longer our problem. Um, definitely. Especially Japanese submarines, if I recall, they don't have stern tubes. At least one of them doesn't. Um. Hmm. Good trivia question to check out real quick. Your weapons. Torpedoes doesn't say here. But if I recall, there's one. The type A or the type B. See this this one type B mod two or mod one. No, it's Type C that looks a little bit different. One of these doesn't have stern, tor uh, stern torpedo tubes. And so if we wreck the uh, bow tubes, then uh, she's basically useless as a submarine. Anyway, moderate, moderate. Looks like they're going to get her patched back up. Let's go ahead and RTB, gentlemen. Uh, these guys, their strikes are going to pass each other here on the way. Say, so tag, you're at encounter at Port Moresby down here. That's probably this guy way up here. We still have our murder hornets out. Uh, we still have this one lone kitty hawk down here. Still haven't gotten any of those guys back. We do have bow fighters though. Um, I wonder if we need to resupply this. Um, or something in order to get the other kitty hawks back. I'm not quite sure how that works. 
Um, or it's just glitched out or something. Catalina? That's this guy right here. We can ignore that. <laughs> we got some other guys to come check you out here in a second, brother. <clears throat> that guy's probably chasing our dudes down. Don't care about that. You guys coming in close to Port Moresby here. Let's see if they actually run over this way. Maybe we'll go shoot some. Nah, they're going that way. Um, use uh, the Aracobras in here. They have such limited. They can only go about this far. They're really, really limited in terms of range. Uh, but they have proven to be pretty, uh, pretty mean uh, as far as uh, interceptors go. Which again, I'm not quite sure exactly how historical that is. I know the I know the Soviets loved them. Um, and some of you guys are saying that the uh, well that that was different. That's a different game. That was the uh, carrier survival game, uh, which I should spool another one of those up here pretty soon. Um, that the Finns really liked the Brewster Buffaloes and <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> I, I know the Dutch door didn't, didn't find too much of use for him against the Zeros. So, but if that's all you had, that's all you had, man. Um, let's go do the strike here. I just want to make sure these guys are actually heading back. Yeah, they're good. Let's go ahead and keep the carrier in the same spot. Let's go do this. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go murder some more things. Um, here, first two hours of the episode, so to speak. Oh. Hey, look at that! <laughs> Could we have lined that up better? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> so, all right, gentlemen, everybody, you you all know your target on this one. Um, oh, they haven't shown up yet. They should be right underneath us here. Dallas is gonna have to serve. The the Avengers is gonna have to spin around in order to actually make this attack. Let's uh let's bag this guy too while we're at it. See, they're already shooting at me. Um. Wait, sorry. <laughs> um, oh, oh, stop, stop with the, with the, with the pounding, with the head pounding here. Here we go. What do we got? We have got, um, oh, Japanese, that ja Japanese. Who would I say? Not what I told you to do. Um, heavy cruiser. C A Furutaka. That's you. Issei. That's you. Oh my god, the pounding. You are Issei. Alright. Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the quiet. <laughs> See, Donaldses are right over them right now. Um, that's not Issei. This is Issei. My bad. Ah, god damn. Chips. You are Issei, yes. You are Furutaka. CA. Furutaka. Alright. Uh, these Dauntlesses here can probably make their run. Uh, some of the others are going to have to spin back around. But let's go ahead and get... Um, about these first couple groups, we'll have them spin around and go back and hit the Furutaka. Actually, this guy here might be able to do it right now. Let's find out who's who. You're way up front here. You guys spin back around and get the Issei. Um, target. Uh, Issei. Attack. You guys here. Target. Issei. Attack. Oh, those are the Avengers. God dang it, I'm all jacked up here. This is the guy that I want. You. Target. Issei. Attack. You. Target. Issei. Attack. You guys here. Target. Issei. Attack. You guys here, go put some bombs on this dude. I don't know if they're going to be able to make the, the turn there fast enough, but we're going to try. And then, what the hell, you last guys go after the Issei again. Put some bombs on her. Alright, Avengers are up here. I want you guys to all torpedo this dude. Maybe the exception of the last section can go after Furutaka. Um, so let's see, that's 12 out of 16. Yeah. And then the last batch here. All you guys form up target Furutaka attack. Alright, here we go. 
All right, we are a little bit close there. Next time, I want to be a little bit further out. But like I said, we're not worried about Cap. These guys are actually making their dive bomb already. Look at that. <laughs> guys just spun around, and they were like, yeah, sure, we got this, boss. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> oh, boom. Boom, boom, boom. That's a lot of hits. Right off the bat, got some hits on her, too. Got some more coming in. Got a lot more coming in. Mm. Mm. That's going to be hard to recover from, from a, for a heavy cruiser. Um, here come all the torpedo bombers. Now, they're going to have a little bit tougher time because these guys are spinning around. So, that's a lot of hits on a battleship, though, right there. And I don't think this ship's going to make it. <laughs> She's got decks of water already, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Yeah, she's done. She healed over hard. So, um, these guys, either wave off, man. Wow. Uh, yeah, go get the Kuma. Hitting a, <laughs> hitting a, uh, we gotta, we gotta ID her real quick. That just worked way better than I thought it would. But that's okay, overkill is, is still a kill. <laughs> so, let's, uh, ID you real quick. You are Tenryu, yes, yeah, one, two, three, back forward, yeah, Tenryu. Um, this is going to be a pretty heavy ask right here, but let's go ID the guys who no longer have a target. That would be these back ones here. Let's bunch all you guys up. Actually, they're just on attack at will, so they're going to go after her too. That's fine by me. Uh, why don't you boys do it independently? Let's uh, have you guys do the same thing. I think your, your battleship's probably got more than enough attention, so go... Put some torpedoes into her. Everybody else stay in formation. Go after the battleship because she's still got... Oh no, that was the Issei that sank. Oh, my bad. I totally... I, I can't read the thing down here. So, uh, that's okay. We still... We got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. So you guys... Go after Furutaka. Attack. 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 There we go. Oh man, battleship down! Battleship down. That the, the cruiser's not gonna make it much longer either, though, folks. So boom. Yeah. That's all right. We'll let the boys get a little bit of practice in today. Lining up their attacks while we watch this absolutely gorgeous battleship get claimed by the uh, South Solomon Sea. Um. Of course, the, the flak is much reduced now with uh, Issei out of the fight. Oh, what's going on here? These guys coming in. We can kind of get all the things in, in the camera here. You want to see? <laughs> hey, hey, man. Easy on that. Easy on that. I'm gonna splash a few of my Avengers. It looks like we got Destroyer Derby version 2 going on here. These guys just dropped torpedoes. So, but unfortunately a lot of those guys are getting splashed. Looks like, uh, gonna make me peel off the camera here. This ship is not looking like today is gonna end out well for her. We've got a lot of, uh, torpedoes coming her way as well. That should be the last of the Mohicans right there, though. And they come. Looks like we completely missed the light carrier. Thonk! Thonk! Or, I mean, the, the light cruiser. I think that's the light cruiser right there. Might be. We got two more torpedoes coming in here. Let's see. Looks like that's a miss. And a thunk. A miss and a thunk. So, that was a whole bunch of nothing. Oh, we got all these torpedoes coming in here, too. Let's see if they uh, actually get snagged on the wreck of the Issei. Uh, she might turn to avoid those, but I don't know, man. This cruiser is not looking too good. But we do have more fish coming in. Let's see if they can thread their way around the, uh, the wreck of the Issei, who is going down slowly to starboard here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That was, that was a little bit much, Pat. So, looks like those are actually going to hit on the wreck of the Issei, what's left of her right here. So, oh, hang on. Might have to cut this short. Oh, oh never mind. 
All right, there's a hit. There's another hit. Yeah, she's done. And there's a thunk. Two hits and a thunk, and we got a fire. And there's a third torpedo coming her way. She's down too. She's just gonna heal on over and probably take one more here. Might be a thunk. You never know. Well, nope, that's a hit. We'll take it. And there goes Issei. Down for the count. Absolutely down for the count. That's a battleship and a heavy cruiser and a carrier. Thanks to our flight group today. And there goes Furutaka. Burning stem to stern. She's done too. We'll go ahead and give her a moment of pause as well. So. And then, uh. The remainder of this flight group, or I mean this uh, task group, we're gonna let them limp on back home. So, if they decide to cause some trouble, we'll uh, give them some trouble. Maybe we can send some bow fighters up here. But that's a lot of that's a lot of flack to throw up at uh, a strafing run. And I'm not so bloodthirsty as uh, we need to kick them while they're down. We've definitely ripped the guts out of this task force. We got another one probably coming on the teals here. But that probably won't happen until these guys actually get back to port. Um, so we got a couple days, which will be good because we got to get our flight groups. Uh, we got to get all our birds recovered here and start making our way back towards the Spirit to over there, rearm, refuel everybody. We might do some configuration changes on uh, Task Force 14 as well. Um, we're just going to have to see. We are definitely strong enough where I'm not worried about anything that the Japanese are going to send our way. Took quite a few losses here, though. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So half of Enterprise's Avengers and a couple Dauntlesses got splashed in this one. But that's okay. We will definitely take the kills, um, which were substantial. 8,700 tons, heavy cruiser. 42,000 tons, Issei. I think that's our reigning champion at the moment. And so... For a whopping eight command points. <laughs> so that's okay. We'll take it. All right, RTB gentlemen. So that is a day well done. August 24th, 1942. Put it in history books, folks. So, but we are going to cheese it out of here. Let's get on back. So 24 hours, 28 hours. So probably a little bit less if I'm a little bit more careful about this. Uh, let's uh, do an ASW sweep. Out of New Hebrides here. Give me uh, some depth charges. Give me like a uh, good flight of good flight of uh, cats here to go ahead and sweep the, uh, the path. Bring the boys on home. In fact, we should do that down here in Oz too. Come to think of it, bring in Task Force Forty Four. What do we got? We got Libertators. We can do it with Mitchells. I don't think Libertators hold. Uh, um depth charges so let's go do a sweep there too all right in we go all right get all the boys back yeah see they're gonna they're gonna limp on back home you can come on back too let's kick out another one keep eyes we don't have any so that's okay uh we do have mariners though don't we, we have a mariner let's go ahead and kick a mariner out even though these guys have a tendency to get murdered here in the south solomon sea uh, we're not going to take it out too far. We just want to see if anything's coming this way. Same thing, we got quite a few planes that we can play with here in the canal. So, USS Henderson is still fully operational. And so we will rely on her for the next couple days here and her brave marine aviators to uh, pick up the slack while Fletcher heads on back to New Hebrides. Or actually, yeah, this probably was Frank Jack Fletcher. Who knows? Are you guys going to chase me? Are you guys going to chase me? That's a bad idea. That's a really bad idea. Let's go show you why that's a bad idea. Murder the things. Boys, get out there. Surprise! <laughs> we saw you. Ooh, look at this. Oh, man, we are like... Are we at max altitude here? No, we are not. Boys, feel it, man. Never mind. Spotted victims. Go, go murder the things. <laughs> Don't crash into anything. Oh, they're higher than we are. Let's see. I think last time we determined that the Air Cobra can outturn the Oscar, but I'm not quite sure. I know it can outgun it. Oh, everybody's going after that first dude. He's gonna die. Oh, 
these guys are kind of like, man, I don't know if this is a good idea. Maybe, maybe we should go back to Buna. Oh, never mind. They got a whole bunch of them. They got bunches of them. Let's just see how this works. Um, I know that I probably should do a little bit of micro on this, but um, let's just let the boys do their thing. There goes one. That's not ours. That's one of theirs. I know my mug's over the combat log here, so I'll kind of narrate for you. There goes one of our boys, unfortunately. <laughs> this guy's got some uh, company. So, over here. Man, I'm surprised some of these guys are going to freaking crash into the mountainside here. Look at all this. Man, someone's going nuts over here with the uh, with the cannon. So, this is just too much to actually like keep track of. Yeah, there's an Air Cobra going after an Oscar. Let's see if they got him lined up. Oh, 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 there goes, oh, I lost one of my boys, I lost two of them, three of my boys, that's not good, no, I've lost two, there we go, we splashed one of theirs, we'll just keep on this guy right here, watch him for a bit, um, is that Oscar going down there, it's a crash, <laughs> who are you going after, man, going after number three over here, just lost another air cobra, so I've lost three of eight, We've splashed four. Or down four. I guess you don't splash them when you're over land. Five, six. Just got two more. This guy's trying to get the angle on this dude. Just can't actually get it to work. Got my wingman back here. We can come back me up on this dude. Coming in. Didn't get the angle. Don't shoot your wingman, bro. Don't shoot your wingman, bro. <laughs> Let's see. That's two more. So we are slowly chewing through them. Looks like there's only one of them left. Or no, that's that would be all of them. They are all done so. So we traded uh, three for whatever there is. Let's get out of here. Let's check it out. Uh, we traded three for six, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Good job, boys. And I'm back. Um, darn it. Yeah, you guys are gonna come out here and shoot down my cats. Oh, why do I have three of them here? This is not what I intended to do. I must have fat fingered this one. Um, let's. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give myself the uh, the out on that one. How those guys RTB? That was not the intention. Of course, now they're gonna chase the crap out of us. So what is this? We got something way up here. Doing a little bit of ASW up there today, huh? I'll let you do it. <laughs> Not our problem. <laughs> All right, Wildcats over here. Let's see what's chasing us today. Is there anything on the surface? Does not appear to be anything on the surface. There we go. What do we got? What are you guys going after today? Uh. Mm. Mm, nope. <laughs> No, you guys don't need to tangle up with peats, or I mean roofs, so we don't want to lose any birds off the USS Henderson that we don't have to. There goes that strike group limping back home. We're going to let them do that. Task Force 14 is making good time here. Looks like they have everybody back. This is Sunderland. I don't know why you're way out here, but we'll let you post up. Uh, looks like they spotted Scorpion here. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll send some dudes back. This guy's from Sarah. Head on back. Looks like there's an ASW group spooking around in the slot. They might be reinforcing things too. Um, we bombarded the crap out of two log. You haven't seen them up the airfield there yet. Santa Isabel might be ripe for bombardment here in the near future. Meanwhile, it is the afternoon. We have our daily uh, murder hornet patrol to kick out. And let's just cover down here again just to see if anything's coming towards Buna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, uh, you guys can't catch us, so off we go. See ya, boys. We already shot down a whole bunch of your brothers this morning, so... Yeah, chasey, chasey. We get it. We get it. But that's not what we do with these guys. Kitty Hawk, out here, lone little dude. Uh, we don't want to lose him, but let's see what's out. I think he can outrun everything. Yeah, <laughs> What do we got? Oh yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 off we go. We're not gonna mess with that. See ya. Oh, three destroyer escorts. 
Very fast. Um, this is definitely an ASW patrol. That's not the, uh... That's not the primary prey of murder hornets. So let's be a little judicious about this. If there was one, we'd probably go do it. But three is a bit much. Counterport Moresby, that's these guys again. Don't care. And that's them just showing up on the radar here, if I'm not mistaken. Because um, we do have visual range, and this is kind of a fuzzy boundary, if I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken. You never know. I've been known to be wrong. What is this? Oh, that's just me. 1800, so Test Force 14. It's about halfway home. It's going to take them an entire day to get down there. Uh, meanwhile, I can't see it because my mic's in the way. What is this? Hey, hey, buddy. Uh, we're not going to use bow fighters to actually fight. <laughs> so we're just going to let those guys cruise around. We use bow fighters to murder things on the uh, surface. So oh, there's my Task Force 44. Let's get him lined into Cooktown here. Uh -huh. Force, get into Cooktown. You got about 15 hours. Okay. Because Cooktown's where engineering our fuel are. <clears throat> oh, hey, look at this. USS Drum. So, who's had a banger of a patrol so far, has got herself a merchant ship. This will make a good... Uh, oh, man, the darkest hours of the night. What have we got, and where are you? Way over here. Are you armed? If you are not armed, we are going to go gun you down. Because if I recall, we are a little short on torpedoes. No, we are good on torpedoes. We got seven and ten. Um, how much ammo do we have? We have 20 high explosive rounds. Um, we are in an excellent attack position here. Let's uh, go ahead and surface the boat. Um, we don't need to go that fast on the surface. Gonna bring her on up. How is our visibility tonight? Oh, actually, you know, I gotta check and see if this dude's armed first. Blay that order. <laughs> Blay that. No, 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 no. Blay that order. <laughs> so, I know you probably can't actually turn that around, but let's make sure this guy is not armed. This looks like a jeep, not a gun. Um, it is awful, awful dark here. Twenty-one thirty-nine. Um, let's ID this dude. You are an MS. I believe this one is unarmed. Not a hospital ship. It's this guy right here. With the, uh, big old cranes. The masts with the cranes. You are unarmed. Yeah. Alright, surface the boat. We can do this on the surface. We're actually in an excellent attack position here. We might try and pop a torpedo or two. Um, target this dude. What's our range? 12,000 yards? We've got a ways to go, man. She is pretty far. What is the range on this pop gun? Um, don't know. Main guns? 14,000 yards? She's not even in gun range yet. We can close this distance pretty quickly, though. We're gonna just gun right for her. Where is she? Turn on your radar, bro. <clears throat> Man, she disappeared out of uh, visual range that fast. We might get the uh, the deck gun. I think it was the gun crew of the drum that actually got the kill last time after I botched that torpedo attack. Let's go ahead and speed this up. She should appear back on our radar. We got the radar up. We are on the surface, correct? Yeah, we are on the surface. We're hauling ass on the surface. Um, just coming in to close this distance as much as we can. Hopefully, we don't lose her. How's our visibility tonight? Visibility sucks. It's bad. Sea state's pretty good, though. No layer. That's okay. We don't have any destroyers here. Unless there's one spooking about somewhere. There we go. Let's uh, do one of these. Uh, we might not need to do that, actually. 9,000 yards? Let's do something a little bit more like this. We're going to get the distance way down. We're going to get it down to like 2,500 yards or 
you know, 1,500 yards. So she is unarmed, so we will just pump rounds into her. Um, Drum's got the gun on the... F yeah, okay. So, there we go. For all you silent service fans. <laughs> so everybody getting wet. <laughs> we are not taking it easy here. Um, 8,000 yards? Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's just close at this point in time. Like this. There we go. We do have the moon behind us, though. Well, it's a little bit this way, so... She might not be able to see us very easily. The trick is to kind of watch her and see if her heading changes or her speed changes. She's actually moving pretty good. I mean, 12 knots isn't... It's not exactly like rocket speed, but you know, it's it's pretty good for a merchant ship. Um, I think the fastest ones can go about 20. Those would be your liners and things like that. Maybe more, I don't know. <coughs> All right, we're good. We can just lie in gentle ambush here. <laughs> At this point in time, let's get this down. Probably have a pretty decent torpedo solution on her. No, we do not. Um, let's ID her again. There we go. No, that's not a Gato, you dummy. <laughs> you dumb dumb. So there's one of these. Um, this one. No. This one. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, the, so the solution is crappy just because this is so far. Let's go ahead and speed up. But we can uh, just kind of get the bow wake down and make like a hole in the water here. Or a log on the surface, so to speak. And then get this down about 2,500 yards and we'll open up on her. So we had how many rounds? We had like 80? I think 80 rounds. I think we can put this ship down with 80 rounds. I think so. Solution's not great, though. Um, and that does apply for both a gun and a torpedoes, right? We might do this. Shoot two fish. How many fish we got? We got seven. Uh, but we have steelhead coming back up. Yeah, we might shoot. We might cut, pop a couple fish her way, too. Make it real cool here, boys. I don't know. Better safe than sorry. Let's see if we can get this up. We are in really good attack solution right here. Attack position. Um, she is moving pretty good, though. So this would be about a 1,000-yard shot. About a 1,500-yard shot. Nah, she sees us. No, nope, her heading is not changing. We're just not going fast enough. We're on some speed again. we got to watch this. Solution is crappy. It's bad. And that's just a function of the range. This would leave us four fish. Yeah. Eh, eh. I don't know if this is going to get much better, though. So when she gets right about here is when we'll probably have to shoot. Now she sees us, so we're not going to shoot no torpedoes. Go ahead. Uh, do my spot fire, and then go ahead and light her up. There we go. Let's see if we can get some hits here. <laughs> there we are right there. <laughs> we're pretty close. <laughs> That's all right. We'll just save the torpedoes. Solution is getting better. We're going to do a little chasey chase here. Uh, let's match her speed. There's a hit. Our speed is 9 knots. Let's match her speed. There we go. That's a whiff. We're just going to have to watch our ammo. There's a hit. I don't think it'll take too many. It probably won't take 75 rounds. Otherwise, we'll board her. 
Darth Vader. <laughs> we'll border and open the cocks up. <laughs> so, I don't think we're going to have to, though. <laughs> I wonder, was there an instance in World War II where an American submarine boarded a, a Japanese in order to take the ship? I don't know. I, I, I seem to recall there was an instance where that happened with, like, a patrol craft. But it's been a while since I've done a lot of reading on the silent service. And there's so many cool, like, little stories here and there from um, that that uh, branch of the service. And that... Um, I mean, there's so much literature on that. You could probably find more books on submarines than you could on aircraft carriers in World War II. Um... I don't know, that's just... I mean, I'm just taking a stab at that one, but... Alright, we got her. We gotta get a few more hits on her here, but... I mean, I have... I can't see that far, but I guarantee you that I have... Probably about... At least a good 10-15 books that are just on individual submarines. In World War II. Just American ones, let alone, like, U-boats. Or things like that. Um, some of them are quite good. Like uh, Dick O'Kane's book. Um, yeah. It's all about the USS Tang. Which one of you the other day was talking about like uh, circular torpedoes. And Tang was one of the, the, the famous instances of that. Um, and I think the other one. like When they found the Scorpion. I think they, they concluded that that's what happened to her too. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. That might be a different one. Jeez, there's so many of them. Um, I read an entire book on the swordfish when I was doing Silent Hunter 4. And I mean, that you talk about kind of an obscure boat. So, come on, man, sink. Or at least start on fire. <laughs> so, we're down to 60 rounds. I mean, we're bagging. We're, we're punching holes into her here. Let's check our report. Uh, moderate and minor flooding. So... Come on, more like that. All we need is a good fire or a good engine room hit here. We haven't reduced her speed yet. I'm trying to stay on her starboard side here so that we keep getting hits on the same side at least. Go ahead and. Uh, we're doing 16 knots, she's only doing 10. So there we go. Now we're starting to get a little bit of. Uh, Reduction in speed on her part. Looks like she's listening a little bit. There we go. We want to get some good. There we go. There we go. We got. It looks like we got a little engine room fire starting now. That's what we want to see. Yep. Hit that cargo. Obviously, it's not full of mortar rounds. Otherwise, this would be much, much more spectacular. But you never know. <laughs> Um, I did get Silent Hunter 4 to start working again. Uh, thanks to JSGME, or JGSN, whatever. <laughs> that little program you used to install mods. Um, I was able to actually get that mod working again. Uh, maybe we will return to that at some point in time with USS Swordfish, which actually had kind of a tragic story behind it. I mean, a lot of submarines did, to be fair. Um, what was it? It's the most dangerous branch of the Navy. If I'm not mistaken. Not the most dangerous job in the in the war. At least for Americans. Wasn't that ball turret gunner, if I'm not mistaken? I don't know. I'm sure there's YouTube videos on it. <laughs> so, silent service though. All volunteer service. Good chow. Um, lots of grease and gasoline. Air conditioned boats though. So, one of the few, few ships in the Navy, boats in the Navy that were air-conditioned during World War II. Um, yeah, I got a couple cool stories about that. I'll have to go fish those out. There was one guy that I knew a long, long time ago. Um, what was he? I want to say he was Finback, if I'm not mistaken. Um... I don't know, I'm gonna have to go dig his letters out. There we go! <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> That's what I want to see. 
So, ooh, listening over hard. Starting to heal over. That will probably do it. How are we doing on ammo? We have shot about half our ammo here, so let's go ahead and hold fire just for a second. And let's uh, be a little bit disciplined about... Critical? Nah, never mind. Let's go put some more rounds into our... Resume fire. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> there we go. I guess you could do this manually too, but um, I'll let the boys have their fun. So we don't need to do that much micro here. Um, I haven't done that much surface combat in this game, and much to the chagrin of probably a few of you guys out there who want me to go get all kinds of battle lines set up and free fight Jutland here in the South Solomon Sea. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so we might get a battleship, but uh, we're going to use it to blow the crap out of air bases, <laughs> so, which is what they were really good at, <laughs> so, especially some of the older dreadnoughts. Um, but I, in the last series that I did, I did get, uh, who is it? I had, um, uh, it was two of the Congos. It might've been Congo and Hie. Um, and we did quite a bit of surface combat against the Americans as the Japanese. And I think as the Japanese, it makes more sense to do surface combat than it does as the Americans. But I also had Shoei and Zui set up in that game. Uh, which where it got, got a little bit grotesque. And this game is probably going to get a little bit grotesque here pretty soon too. Come on. Sink. 30 rounds? Yeah, we'll shoot them all if we have to. So it looks like we'll be heading back home. That's okay. Steelhead is coming into the into the area here real soon. Let's check our report. If that flooding's got in the point in time, we do have an engine fire or some kind of fire going on here. Still only have heavy flooding though. We want to get this ship completely Swiss cheesed all the way through her starboard side here. Just where they cannot do anything about it. There we go. Go ahead and hit the forward cargo. Who knows? There might be mortar rounds up here. So. Who knows where the ship was heading? She was heading south, so my guess is that heavily laden with supplies or possibly dudes. There we go. Give me more of those. Get a nice fire. Critical damage. Amidships here. Let's check our gun. 22 rounds. Reloading. 21 rounds. There we go. There we go. Dunzo. Made it all the way down to 21 round, round. 21 rounds. So what do we we pumped about 65 inch rounds into her. At least I think this is a 5 inch gun. This might be a 4 inch pop gun. Um should be a 5 incher. Let's go check. What are your weapons? 5 inch, okay. So we actually do have the full 5 inch uh, rounds on her. So yeah, because in uh, War on the Sea, I think you start out with a 3 inch pop gun. <laughs> so at least if you start in Manila. Right, it might be a 4 inch here, I'm not quite sure. So, But it's basically useless, um, except for against really thin skinned targets like this. And so, but that is uh, one merchantman down. So the boys have had more than enough fair warning to GTFO. And so hopefully that's what they did. <laughs> so because uh, rumor has it sharks hunt at night. <laughs> so, <laughs> ooh, a little bit of morbid humor there. All right, drum successful patrol. Let's go ahead and rotate you around with steelhead here. Get you on down to Moresby to rearm, refuel, pick up a whole bunch more five inch rounds. Uh, meanwhile. 2100 we could uh, speed this on through the morning here, so I don't anticipate too much going on tonight I'm just gonna rotate everybody around Hake. You're still chock full on torpedoes, so Head on over there. I mean we could keep her in the area, but I'd rather I'd rather top off the torpedoes um, Yeah, especially if there's gonna be like ASW patrols spooking around you never know we might have to blast out all six at something coming our way so Let's get our ammo back. 2100. Let's bring it all the way down to 0500 here. 
There we go. Pause. 0, 0500. 25th of August, 1942. Man, we had a hell of a day yesterday. Let's go take a look at our enemy losses. We have put 57 Japanese ships on the bottom of the ocean, including our best tonnage day yet yesterday. 8,000 tons of uh, heavy carrier, 8,700 tons of heavy cruiser, 42,000 tons. This one is our reigning champion for the moment. It probably will be for quite some time. And then finally... We got ourselves a little 3,100 ton merchant ship at the end of the day, thanks to the um, USS Drum, which, like I said, is having a hell of a career so far. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and tie up here. So uh, we will be back soon to do some rearming, refitting, and recajiggering of our strategy here a little bit. But meanwhile, USS Henderson, you are our primary offensive weapon for anything that comes down until we can actually swap out some carriers. And we should be getting uh, quite a bit more points in two more days here. And so we're going to have to start thinking about what to do with those um, strategically. And so questions, comments, concerns, you know where those go. I hope you guys enjoyed all the fireworks today. So hopefully we'll have a few more coming up the next couple days uh, but I think the Japanese are going to go home and lick their wounds for a little bit unless they decide to get pissed off and come down here and bombard Henderson in which case we'll have more battleship targets um, spooled up uh, but as far as their heavy carriers go I think they're probably out for a little bit unless they've actually managed to get Shokaku patched up uh, back from what day number five or six or something like that uh, my guess is that we probably won't be seeing her in a while in fact I'm curious um, how long did it take them to patch up the Bogue, which we lost on day number two? Wait a minute, I need the, I need the thing here. This. I don't know if we can actually still get her yet. Let's go see. So that was, uh, CVL? Was it the Bogue that we had? was the Breton. So even the Breton, we don't get her back for even four more days after all the destruction they put on her. And so we put quite a bit of hurt on both Shoei and Zui. And so I don't think we'll be seeing them anytime soon. Maybe maybe next week, maybe the following week, but that would be the next heavy carrier in the spool. Because um, we sank Junior. Oh, and then they probably have Junio out there somewhere, come to think of it. We might see her here pretty soon, too. All right, so we'll just have to be patient, all right, and see what comes our way. Uh, anything that does come our way is going to get absolutely slaughtered by our carriers. And so um, as long as we can get our birds back, we'll be in really good shape here in the next couple of days. So uh, episode number 23 in the can, 24 coming up here real soon. Hope to see you there. Take care now. Bye. Bye.